everyone, Friedrich to Dollar Ridge. In this video, I'm going to take you back in time, 246 years ago. Time that required a lot of courage when people were trying to take away other people's rights. And I've got a very simple question. Which side would you have been on? Today's April 19th, 2021. This is what's known as Patriot's Day. This was a time when the British marched on Lexington and Concord from Boston. This was the midnight ride of Paul Revere. This was the day of, of Redcoats and, and Patriots standing up uh, against them on that day. Why were the Redcoats coming out of Boston? Why were they marching on Lexington and Concord? First and foremost, they were marching in order to seize colonial militias, firearms, gunpowder, and supplies. The main mission was gun control and gun confiscation. They wanted to get rid of their ways to defend themselves and defend their communities. So which side would you have been on? Would you have been on the side of the people that were standing up for their natural born rights as Englishmen and demanded that the British Parliament and Crown protect those rights? Or would you have been on the side that General Gage was on with all of his troops that sought to control other people because they didn't, quote, need those kind of firearms to defend their community and themselves. Which side would you have been on? Would you have been on the side that has blind obedience to a government because it's the one that you think is great and in charge and that everybody should just do what the government says? Or would you have been on the side that stood up for natural rights to keep and bear arms? God-given rights in Western civilization, that you have a right to defend yourself, you have a right to defend your family, you have a right to defend your community. Which side would you have been on? Would you have been on the side that says, well, government passed the law, so we have to ask permission to assemble, we have to ask their permission. Maybe there's a smallpox virus going around, so maybe people shouldn't be able to get together and assemble. Would that be you? Or would you be on the side that wasn't afraid of the consequences that stood up and defied the authorities, because they knew that it was their natural rights to do so. Which side would you have been on? Would you have been on the side of arbitrary government control that changes from day to day? Or would you have been on the side that believes that the role of government is to protect individual liberty, rights, and property? Are there American patriots today? Sure there are. Are there also Americans that are living in this country that seek unfettered power and control and support those who want unfettered power and control for the, quote, progression of society. And as I'm sitting here making this video, we have a government in charge of Washington, D.C. and the rest of the country who believes in controlling, regulating, and even confiscating constitutionally recognized and protected personal property, which would be firearms, ammunition, and the magazines to have those firearms function. As we see in the original incident that burst this country, literally, when we look at what that point is, and we look at what the original intent of gun control is, it was never about the interpretation of the Second Amendment. It was about silencing and rendering impotent the political opposition. The original intent of gun control was to silence any dissent to control their behavior and give them no means whatsoever to fight back. It was the same thing in our nation's history against any group of people that the government deemed a problem, nuisance, or threat. It was always and has always been about silencing political opposition. It has always been about taking people who dissent from government and making resistance impossible for them. We saw this in many states across the country immediately following the war between the states. We've seen this constantly over and over again where any single entity in government wants to take people that disagree with them and say, no, you can't have these kind of firearms. The entire purpose of the United States is to respect other people's property and person. If there is no violation of people's property and there is no harm to their person, there is no crime. And government needs to understand this very clearly, that you are not an arbitrary authority. You govern by consent of the people. You govern according to the chains of the Constitution. You are bound down by that document, which is a blueprint against you. And another thing that they need to understand is that there is a massive backlash in this country against their authority.
against their self-made prison that they've erected for themselves in our nation's capital of barbed wire and concertina wire. The servants have erected their own quarters and protected it with the very firearms that they would like to take away from me and from you, using our tax dollars to arm, fund, and legitimize their own private security force that they claim you do not have the right to. We are seeing entire states and tens, if not hundreds of millions of people fighting back against this kind of tyranny. We are seeing tens of millions of private firearm owners, many for the first time, taking notice and taking action. The Minutemen and the militia that stood at Lexington Green and at Concord, especially at the Battle of Northbridge, understood that free individuals do not beg, borrow, or ask permission to keep and bear arms. And this is my warning to the United States government or any other entity of government that wishes to do that. You need to look at history and heed the lessons that our forefathers taught your forefathers. You will need to stop doing what you're doing right now or history will be made again. Happy Patriots Day. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge. Hey everyone, 